Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So today we are starting a new series of lectures based on scripting. In this scripting series, we will be learning very interesting stuff and I can guarantee that these many projects, none of the YouTube channel will be covering. So we are making sure that even more than 25 plus real-time projects are getting covered as part of these cell scripting lectures. So let us go through all the list of projects which I will be covering as part of this cell scripting series. We will be learning how to automate the backup of databases and schedule it weekly basis. How to automate the database upgrade using cell scripting. We have to write a cell script to generate alert in Slack channels, pager duties, whenever any service goes down in system. Like if Jenkins is down or Docker is down in the systems, you will be getting the alert immediately in your pager duty or in your Slack channels. We will be learning a script to check list of all the active services in our Linux systems. Writing a cell script to check available disk space in our system and if any of the disk drive is utilizing more than 80% of the disk, we will be getting alert for that. We will be learning to write a script which will help us to clear our disk spaces on a regular interval of time when logs are older than one week in those file systems. We will learn to write a script to automate the software installation in Linux systems. We will be learning to write a script which will check connectivity of thousand systems in your infrastructure and generate alert if any system is not reachable. A script to start a down service in system automatically. So whenever any service is down in our system, we will be learning to write a script which will automatically start those services. A script to do monitoring setup in our systems. We will be learning to write a script which will connect to database and check all the running processes inside our database. We will be learning to write a cell script which will help us to send an email whenever the available memory that is available RAM in system is less than 20% left. We will be learning to write a cell script which will help us to create databases. We will be writing a script which will help us to clone the Git repository and upload the changes into Git automatically. We will be writing a cell script which will kill the process in Linux system automatically. Cell script to get the CPU load alert whenever load of the CPU goes beyond a specified limit in our cell script. Cell script to transfer files from one machine to another machine. Cell script to shut down 100 system in single go. A script to parse database binary logs automatically. Cell script to get names of users who logged in to Linux system in last 30 days. Cell script to change the user passwords automatically. Cell script to check if software is installed in your system or not. Cell script to know the operating system release version, operating system type, and install software accordingly. Cell script to check all the ports open in system and print its name. Cell script to check the users list which all are having the root permissions in your system. So these are the list of projects which we are going to cover in our cell scripting. All the lab exercises. Now. I will start with the beginning of cell scripting. We will go till the advanced level of cell scripting and we will try to implement each and every project as part of our playlist itself. So let us begin. Very first thing comes to our mind. What is cell script? So a cell script is a list of commands in a computer program that is run by unique cell which is a command line interpreter. A shell script usually has comments that describe the steps. The different operations performed by shell scripts are program execution, file manipulation, and text printing. The shell is a program that takes command from keyboard 
and gives them to the operating system to perform now in, in nowadays we have both graphical user interface also available but still the cell interacting with the command line interface is the best and the fastest way so in our system let us try to write our cell scripts so very first thing comes to our mind what is cell and how to check which cell is exactly used in our system so cell is a program which takes command from the keyboard and gives output gives this command to operating system to perform certain type of tasks now how to check type of cells in our system the command is cat slash etc slash cells cat slash etc cells we have c s h cell t c s h cell we have bash cell and these cells are the multiple type of cells available but as part of our lecture we will be learning the bash cell scripting bash is one of the recent cell which is used by almost all all the organization we have very first line in our cell script that is called c bank in cell script so what is c bank we have pound symbol and exclamation symbol this combination of two symbols is called c bank c bank plays an important role in cell scripting especially while dealing with different type of cells so c bank is a combination of pound key and exclamation marker this character combination has a special meaning when it is used in very first line of our cell script it is used to specify the interpreter which the given script will run by default so if the first line of a script is pound exclamation slash bin slash bash it means the interpreter should be bash cell if the first line is this so why exactly this line is important because you have to inform to your interpreter that i am writing the bash cell so you interpret whole script as a bash script similar way if your cell type is tcsh you can write the cbank slash bin slash tcsh so your interpreter will read it as a tcsh and will execute your script in tcsh format so now let us begin and write our very first cell script so how to run your first cell script first you have to create a file in your linux system the file extension will be dot sh that is cell so you can write vi and then your file name in our case suppose we are writing demo dot sh or you can write in any name dot sh now the very first line will be cbang bin bash and then you can start writing your cell by one now once your these lines are completed in your cell script we can start giving the permission for this script so how to give the permission ch mode plus x space your file name dot sh this will give the execute permission to the current user who is going to execute this script now how to run the cell script dot slash your script name dot sh which will be running our cell script so let us write our very first cell script so let us begin our first script the first line is cbang line bin bash after that we are writing echo echo is a command in linux which is used to print whatever the lines you are writing after echo so i am writing this is my first cell script curly uh, quotes double quotes we are starting and double quotes we are closing then i want to see the date of system and i want to see the uptime of system so now let us save and change the permission so ch mode plus x first dot sh and then let us run the script dot slash first dot sh so now you can see the first line is this is my first cell script the second it is giving us date and time of the system and then third it is telling us the uptime of our system so this is our very first script slowly in the scripting lectures we will be implementing all those 25 projects which i have shown you in the beginning thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time